Hi. <laughs> All right. It's me. I'm back. I'm back with freaking Yzma here. So if you didn't see last week's video, I essentially did the back end of Yzma's bag. So my bag paintings of the Disney villains. So I did this colorful kind of my own design with test tubes and the potion. If you want to watch that, if you haven't seen it, I'll just leave a link in the description. But this video, this freaking video is fixing this woman. Okay? Cause she's, she's a hot mess right now. She's a big reason why I was not able to finish her last week like I was supposed to. So the purple that I was using on her, I mixed my own color, but it dried way darker than what my palette looked like. So I'll see if I have like a video or a picture, I'll put it somewhere in here. But the color is way darker than what it should be. Cause she's more of like a pasty gray with a tinge of purple in it. Very, very light, very, very light. And this is, I don't know, it's too close to this bottom color especially. So I need it to lighten up a little bit. So that's what I'm doing this week. I'll probably hit more hiccups realistically, but today at least I wanna fix her skin. So I need to figure out <laughs> what I'm gonna do. Still don't know yet, but I'll play, I guess. I don't know, but I need to fix her skin. I need to add highlights, shadowing. I need to get the wrinkles in there, which honestly is the thing that I'm most terrified of, but that's on the docket for today. The rest of her face, eyes, makeup, her mouth, her teeth, all that jazz will be later on. But today I'm just focusing on the skin because I need to, need to get that right, all right? We need to make it sing, baby. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking, I'm getting weird. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, sorry, I know this is a weird angle, but they're filling in potholes in the front of my house, so, or front of my apartment. So it's loud, it's crazy, ignore that. But anyways, I wanted to check in with you guys just because I'm working on her face and her skin. And I made the decision to try and use warm tones, specifically orange and pink, to kind of do some of the shading. Ah, I don't know, oh God. Oh. And like, I don't know, part of me is telling me just like, you know, go with that, that's unexpected, try it. But I'm also freaking out that it was a really bad idea. <laughs> and I've hit this point where like, I can't visualize her face anymore because I haven't really filled in everything else and her lips and her nose and whatnot is getting, is disappearing. So I think I'm gonna transition to actually start filling in her teeth and her mouth. Not fully detail it, but put that in and hopefully that will help me visualize her face more. And then I can choose whether or not I should keep the warm shading. Honestly, I should just time-wise, but I don't know, I'm scared. I'm really scared right now. And I feel like I made a bad choice, but I don't wanna just like be impulsive like I usually am and just paint over it and just, you know, yeah. My anxiety's through the roof. I don't know if you can tell that, but anyways, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna get back into it. My husband just got a promotion by the way, which was very unexpected. So I'm gonna go celebrate with him. So I am gonna be working through the night. So the lighting might get a little yellow, but it's cool. You'll still see her. Okay, cool. I'm gonna shut up and figure this out. Okay, bye. <laughs>
Hey guys, I hope you liked that. I am pleasantly surprised with her and I'm not gonna lie, she actually <laughs> is creeping me out a little bit. Just the look on her freaking face, man. I mean, she, look, she looks like she's planning your death, but I hope you liked that. I think she came out fun. I definitely panicked when I used the warm tones to kind of shadow her, but I think it ended up working out, especially with like, you have the bright and fun bubbly side and then this kind of monotone in a way, except for the warm colors that I kind of threw in there. So I don't know. I think she came out cool. She is going to be a giveaway later on in my channel's life, I guess. So once I end up getting a little bit bigger, I'm going to be doing giveaways and she definitely will be in there. So yeah. Now in regards to next month, I may or may not do a Disney villain bag. I'm not sure yet because I am going to do something special for literally the first 14 days of September, something special for YouTube. So I will talk more about that in my next video. But I will see you guys next week. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. And if you guys have any comments about like how you like these videos edited, if you just want to see just the straight time lapse, if you want to see every detail, or if you like the whole jumping around, let me know. And that will definitely help me out because I'm experimenting because I'm a baby YouTuber and editing's hard. <laughs> so like this video, man. Of course my computer doesn't want to cooperate and I'm tired of giving excuses. So one day things will go smooth, but apparently that's not this week. So I'm going to figure this stuff out right now, but I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you next week. Bye.